hi this is Abhimanyu and in this video tutorial you are going to learn URL routing in MVC3 you can find my blogs at itorian.com or drop me mails at abhikumavatsa at yahoo.co.in you can find me on facebook uh, at facebook.com slash abhikumavatsa and the same on twitter you can follow me on twitter.com slash at itorian okay what is URL routing in mpc3 the sp.net mpc framework includes uh, flexible URL routing system that enables us to define URL mapping rules within our application. URL routing maps incoming URL to the application and route them so that the right controller and the right action method executes and the same output comes to the browser. URL routing is set up in two places first in web configuration file and second in global.asx file let's open up the visual studio and look at them okay now i'll create sample mvc project click on file new project and select mvc3 web application here and select the location and then click on ok in the project template I'll select empty template and view engine as razor and I'll tick use HTML5 semantic markup and click on OK. Okay now project creation is successful. Open the solution explorer and open web configuration file and global.asx file. In the web configuration file, you can see there is uh, assembly system.web.routing and another one is here that is namespace namespace system.web.routing. You don't need to delete these two, other, uh, otherwise, if you delete uh, your entire MVC application, will be down. And in global.asx file, you can see there is roots dot map root there is a default parameter uh, in case if you don't provide controller name that will automatically map home or in case if you don't provide action me method you, it will automatically um, execute index and id is optional here now switch over to our presentation there is uh, a URL example uh, http colon double slash localhost 3254 that is port localhost 3254 may be a domain name uh, slash home slash index slash one home is actually a controller and index is actually a action and one is id that will be um, called so above url will execute finally uh, following term internally home controller dot index uh, one as a id similarly if you are building uh, blog application uh, there might be uh, different uh, dates uh, you can see there is uh, three urls uh, everything is similar but uh, dates are different so you don't need to create individual actions for uh, each and every url request coming from the browser uh, we will look at this later uh, in practical demonstration uh, think what happens when you don't provide controller action or id so in this case if you don't provide uh, controller action and, uh, and id i already told you that uh, default uh, root name or url parameter will be called uh, for example here controller name is home action equals index and id is uh, optional now uh, switch back to uh, visual studio uh, and look at the practical demonstration first uh, i'll close uh, global.asx file and configuration file i'll switch to uh, solution explorer 
Before the practical, uh, you should have basic folder structure understanding in MVC. There is three uh, primary uh, folders that is controller, model and uh, view. Uh, controller names always ends with controller string. For example, if you have a home controller, then the controller name will be home controller and uh, a student controller or product controller etc. Uh, look at the example. I'll uh, add a controller by right clicking uh, on the controller folder add and controller. Here I'll type uh, home and click on add. Look in our solution explorer there is home controller.cs class uh, is created. Now uh, let's uh, create the view for uh, our action result named uh, index method. For this, I'll right click here and uh, go to add view. It will uh, pop, uh, view, uh, pop to enter in the uh, view name. Uh, and uh, for, the, uh, for demonstration, I'll click on add. You can see uh, our controller name is uh, starting with home controller home. So there is in view there is uh, home directory created and inside that there is index dot html file. So if you create another controller uh, add controller test and click on add and then I'll add uh, view for it and click on add there is another test name because we have a controller test dot controller so the view is placed inside uh, test uh, directory one more thing uh, you should know that action method can accept um, parameter from requested url as we already saw in previous example if you don't provide it uh, will consider it as uh, an empty string for the further demonstration, I'll click all the controllers and views uh, that is created. Delete. Okay.